Welcome back again to Pinoy Screencast. I'm Arvino and tonight we're going to unbox the Star MOBA Engage 71 and we are now on episode 20. Uh, 20, 20, 20. And I'll do my intro as usual and let's see here. Okay, so without further ado, here is the Star Mobile Engage 7i. So as you can see, it's a super pack with over 2,400 worth of free data for 6 months. And powered by Smart Bro, so they have partnered with Smart Bro to have this bundle with the Engage 7.1. So it's a tablet, guys, na mayroong SIM. And sa likod, and yung detail, guys, over 2,400 free data for 6 months. And then mayroong Facebook, Facebook Messenger, so free and lahat, Viber. Uh, this is what's up, YouTube, Instagram, Clash of Clans. Oh, libre ba Clash of Clans? Makakaglaro kayo. Google Search and Spinner. And, uh, ayan. Yung asterisk, guys, yung meaning 6 months is 200 per month for surfing and other apps. It comes with free access to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, feeds via Smart Bro Dashboard. So, via smart.com.ph slash bro, bro dashboard. Ayan. So, ang specification na nandito guys sa likod, it's in Android 5.1 Lollipop with a regular plus regular SIM. So, dalawang SIM card siya, dual SIM na regular. Intel Sophia 3GR. It's a 1GHz quad-core Intel Atom X3 64-bit with Mali 450MP4, 7-inch with IPS display and resolution of 600 by 1024 170 ppi and 2G, 3G, and HSPA. Although hindi siya LTE, pero meron siyang HSPA+. Plus. With 1 gig of RAM, DDR3 with 16 gig of ROM, and up to 32, so expandable pa siya. And with 5 megapixel rear and 2 megapixel front, uh, OTA, OTG, 3,000 milliamp, ang laki ng battery niya. This is 3,990, so only 4,000 pesos. So very affordable na meron kayong automatic na bundle for 6 months na uh, Smart Bro na package. Alright? So, here is the device. Oh, click nya lang. Diba? Color black here. Pro, but then, as you can see, yung SIM nya is LTE. Meron, wow, look at that. Screen protector na dalawa, which is really nice. Super pack, 1.2 gig with free data for 6 months. 200 MB valid for 30 days every every month for 6 months. Ayan. So, ayan yung ano, mga FAQs, kung may katanungan, basahin. And, other things inside. So, OTG, cable, warrant certificate. We have a white. Ang oh, kapal ng USB. Ang kapal ng ano nyo, ng... USB to micro USB earpiece with mic button color white and we have a charger 1.5 amps so 1.5 amps siya so kahit paano maganda ganda yung ano again this is 3000 milliamps so kailangan medyo matas tas yung capacity ng charger para mabilis siya mag charge and this is the quick start guide of the star mobile 7 1 so here in front we have the 2 megapixel front camera and then we have the earpiece the display again it's a 7 inch yeah 7 inch IPS display and on the side you can see wala siya sa ilalim wala rin sa side wala rin oh meron sa right side so nakalagay this is the reset oh may reset button siya kakaiba may reset button so papakita yung gilid yan kita nyo reset power volume down and volume up so yan plastic build siya pero mukhang solid naman ang plastic build niya then sa likod makita natin yung 5 megapixel na camera and a single leg flash and then a star mobile logo plus the intel uh, branding here at the bottom power input nya 5 volts 1.5 amps and on the top we have the 3.5 millimeter jack and the micro usb and i think nakakabit na yung sim card so let's verify it oh this is a micro sd pala so sim card slot 1 and nasa ilalim nun is sim card slot 2 yeah nakikita nyo uh, 1 and 2 magkapatong sila so regular sim ang nakakabit sa akin ngayon so automatic kinabitan nila pag binili nyo yung engage 7i picker grill also alright so I'll put this up and then let's see uh, pag entry level talaga ramdam yung kagad na medyo hindi ganun ka bilis yung ano nya yung movement battery percentage initial natin guys is 86% papakita ko yan 86% and uh, initial initial temperature natin 38, ooh, 41, 42, ooh, 45, ooh, 45, my gosh, what, 
45 yun dito guys 46 oh my yun sa module yan kita nyo guys 47 48 wow 51 wow ang init ano nangyari 51 eto ang init <laughs> yun sa may camera module nyo guys mainit oh surprising bakit ang init nya wow nagulat ako dun mainit siya actually mainit yun so 41 tayo guys all throughout sa screen 36 mga ba so 41 tayo dito sa taas medyo mainit guys 51 ito 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 itong part na to this one yeah actually ramdam ko mainit nga pero may ano lang yung parang portion lang siya magkikita nyo naman ha pag tinapat ko yung temp temperature ko guys kaya so subscribe anony mouse here magkikita nyo naman guys diba portion lang yung portion lang yung ano eh mainit so ito itong part na to yan 42 40 yan so ditong part na to itong portion na to pero sa side niya kita niya naman na uh, 38 41 oh malaki pa mataas pa rin pala so yung kalahati kalahati nito buong kalahati mainit so under 5.1 oh yan kita niya it's running on android 5.1 Ooh. Yes, na makakalampas na ako. Yes, nakaisa na ako. So, let's see. Wow, ganda pala ng IDA 64 pag nasa tablet. Hindi ko lang nakita. Okay, so, again, it's a Sophia board with 1 gig of RAM and 10 gig na remaining or 11 gig. Ayan. CPU natin, guys, is Intel Sophia. Uh, Intel Sophia, Intel Silvermont, 32-bit x86, Intel 506D1H, quad-core, 4 1GHz, 8600 by 1024, 7-inch, 169 MDPI, or DPI nya, ARM, Mali 450, 64Hz ang kanyang refresh rate, so 5MP, ang resolution is 2592, 1944, and V, 2MP, ang kanyang uh, front, 1600 by 1200 Oh, may gyro Diba kompleto guys? Pero let's see if meron siya Minsan kasi activated lang So accelerometer, gumagana And Let's see the light sensor Okay, it's working, light sensor Orientation So there you go, as you can see, it's only activated Pero hindi working yung uh, orientation So it's uh, walang hardware, uh, it's just software activated Yon, so The proximity is working. Thermometer sensor. Talaga. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang nakita actually na-activate to sa software. Pero activated siya pero again, no change detected. Ano nagbabago. So wala siya. Gyro, let's see. Again. Activated din pero hindi physical. Walang hardware na uh, kasama talaga. Um, magnetic sensor. Same also. Activated software pero walang hardware. It's 5 multi-touch. Guys, at least, di ba? So, let's see kung may bug ang multi-touch niya. So far, as you can see, all corners are working without any issue ng ating multi-touch. So, nakikita nyo guys, yung color white. So, medyo bright lang to kasi guys, this is IPS. Medyo light lang yung white niya. Hindi kasing white-white talaga ng max. Pero, as you can see, yung, yung gray niya na, medyo slightly na yung pagiging gray niya. So, hindi ganun ka ano yung uh, ano niya, display niya in terms of brightness. Yeah, medyo, medyo ano nga lang brightness. Pero viewing angle, as you can see, viewable naman siya in different angles. Uh, but then, yun nga lang, medyo, medyo, ano lang, medyo mababa yung max brightness niya. But I think you can adjust it naman sa mga different apps. I think meron ganun app na you can adjust yung max brightness ng ano. So, ititweet nyo lang yan. So, let's see the shutter. Okay. Oops. Let's check on my focus. Oh, it's a fixed focus, guys. Ang camera. Uh, fixed focus siya. Pero ang gamit niya is yung default ng uh, Android. Lollipop. So, I switch to my front camera. So, 2 megapixel. Hmm, yeah. Hindi ganun kaganda yung front camera niya. You can see. So, medyo mumu ang itsura ko. Mumu. Selfie king. So, kita nyo guys, sad face, 
side face ako, side face. So, kita nyo naman kung gano'ng kaano yung front niya. Hindi gano'n ka, kaganda yung front. Ayan, diba? Kita nyo. Diba? Pangit na nga yung camera. Pangit pa yung, ano, yung model. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> I mean, uh, yung front niya medyo ano nga lang. Hindi gano'ng kaano yung color. Pero, yun nga, don't expect too much sa front camera niya. Again, it's 2 megapixel. Resolution is, again, 5 megapixel. So, ang kaya nga lang, guys, is 720p for the video recording so hindi niya kaya 1080p and from the front 480p lang ang kaya niya for the default camera uh, meron siyang capture sound full size oh so far so follow me mga drop frame as you can see hinaan ko lang ok tack but in terms of responsiveness, guys, kita nyo naman. Kung gano'n ka, ano. So, this one. Ayan. Diba, pag zoom in ako, yeah, pretty responsive for the Clash of Clans. So, at least kung ito yung pang Clash of Clans kina na budget tablet talaga, it's definitely uh, playable and smooth in terms of zoom in, zoom out. Very responsive. So yeah, that's the Clash of Clans demo, and so far it's playable. So without a huge drop of frame. Ilan kanina? 80% diba? So medyo ano tayo. So second temperature test tayo, mainit, medyo mainit pa rin siya. 41, 44, 46, 43. O medyo bumaba ni temperature niya kahit paano. So wala na 50, wala na 49. So initial, ano lang yun, initial boot up niya lang I think guys, kaya medyo mainit. So usually may ganun device guys, yung tipong pag unang bukas niya, parang syempre parang kumbaga sa kotse nag ano pa lang yun. 44 ang display. So parang nag initiate pa lang ang kanyang mga uh, IC. So yun. So installing nga sa sketchbook, uh, let's try the uh, stylus. Alright. So take a challenge. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Pwede siya guys. Pang stylus. Responsive yung ano nyo. Walang, hindi ako nagpuputol. Wow, impressive. In terms of, ano ah, stylus. Nakita nyo naman ha. May dili nga lang, pero, I mean, for, for this kind of tablet, I usually don't expect na magiging smooth yung pag, yung stylus. So, if you're, if you're into drawing, di ba? So, let's say, let's change the color to red, or orange, uh, dark, and you know, heart, 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 bura yung tap, pang bura tayo. Ito yun naman, di ba? Binubura ko. Okay. So, susulat tayo ngayon ng heart, heart, and uh, brush. Heart, heart. I love PSC. Oh, I heart PSC unboxing. Kapal lang ano ko, kapal ng brush. <laughs> Sing. Oh, di ba guys? Kita nyo. It's really good in terms of stylus. Not bad. Ano yung audio sound quality nyo? So, magka 720 ako guys, as you can see, okay 720. There you go, 720. Medyo, ano nga lang guys. Yeah, hindi ganun ka ano yung... <laughs> Tutunog. Medyo matinis. Matinis ang panag niya. Diba? Yun. But so far, there is a video, as you can see. Kaya nyo naman, in terms of 
Yan, YouTube. Nanonood tayo ng YouTube. So, panoorin natin, panoorin natin yung Pinoy screencast na video natin. So, pinapalood ko sarili ko ngayon, guys. <laughs> Inception. Inception, guys. <laughs> so, usually, this is pang test ko if CCI siya. Kasi meron siyang button. So, usually, ito yung mga bagong headphone. And, uh, color fank. Yeah, so, papahinga natin. So, I'll, I'll, I'll click this one. Dapat magpa-pause yan. Yep, as you can see. Mag-pause. Play. Diba? And, pause. And actually, narinig ko both ways. Nakakabit siya without any issue. So, it's a CTIA. CTIA compliant na headphone. And actually, maganda. In terms of sa headset, mas maganda. <laughs> Yung quality sa headset. So, 19. Mbps ang down and 13, 15, 15 Mbps ang up. So, yun yung nasagap niya sa Wi-Fi ko. So far, walang gano'ng uh, gano sila nilagay. Uh, pero at least, yung usual na Star Mobile, App Store, Star Sync. So, at least kumayap yung mga other devices na pwede yung i-sync. Yung contacts nyo, yung text nyo. So, built-in nyo sa Star Mobile. And, may MX Player, built-in, docs, uh, video. Yun, speed. Actually, speed test, built-in siya uh, slides in sa Google Docs yan. Battery update guys, 55%. Na tayo. 55%. Yung 3000 mAh. Again, but na tayo. Test ulit tayo. Temperature. So far, 44, 48, 47. Yeah. So, at least hindi, well, yun yung ano niya. Yeah, medyo matas talaga ang kanyang, ang kanyang temperature. Umakabot ng 45 above. Let's see if OTG capable siya. Yep, detect niya guys, pero wala, siya, wala siyang notification sa dito na na-insert na yung <laughs> yung USB, pero it's OTG capable. Nakita niya naman, USB storage, na-detect niya yung 7GB ko na USB. Actually, magka-play ako ng video from the micro SD. Yan. So, yan. So, playing a movie. Yo. So, I'm going to play, guys, from OTGN. Huh? Yeah, not bad. But then, so far, I can see uh, audio, yung headphone niya, CTA compliant, OTG. So, not bad for a 4,000 tablet. Uh, yun na lang, yun na lang. Uh, Clash of Clans, walang problema. Pero ito, Asphalt 8 lang itatas natin. Na hopefully, 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 uh, mabilis siya. Or kahit o paano, stable siya. Ang timbang, hindi kasi ang timbang, di ba? 290 grams. So, surprising. Again, surprising sa, sa stylus. Suwabe siya. So, usually kasi sa, sa mga ganitong budget tablet, I really don't expect na ganun kasuwabe yung yung stylus. Kasi usually, nagja-jump talaga yung mga stylus. Talagang pag ganito na LCD panel na hindi... IPS naman siya, pero I mean, mataas kasi yung nakita nyo, yung gilid. Mataas yung set, yung, ano niya, yung panel niya from the screen. So, may ano, malaki yung gap. So, usually pag ganun kasi I expect na medyo hindi ganun ka-responsive yung stylus. But then, so far, it's really surprising na kaya niya. Wow! Kaya-kaya niya guys, high settings. Although hindi natin matatry yung GTA eh, pero baka kayaanin niya to kahit low settings. Wow, not bad for a 4,000 tablet. Nakaya niya yung high settings ng ano, Asphalt 8. Halos walang drop frame oh. Ooh, di ba? Boo, 360 dudes! Turbo, 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 boom! Smash it! Dilipad, dilipad, dilipad! Takore! Salpok siya! Asphalt 8 on a high settings is very playable, guys. So, definitely. Uh, this is, uh, this can be added on your tablet list. Na affordable na pang, pwede pang Clash of Clans, pwede pang, actually, kahit intensive game mo, oh. kaya-kaya niyo. Cash for tape, walang problema. So, there you go. So, let's do the benchmark of this one. So, 4,000 uh, budget tablet. And again, ang makukuha niyo is meron kayong SIM card na worth 2,400 kasi 6 months six months kayong merong data na load. Uh, kailangan nyo na mag-top up ng certain amount based sa requirement ng nung smart grow niya but then uh, para kayo nung nagkaroon ng 2400 data and powered by smart grow LTE and again it's a tablet phone so 
kung gusto nyo ng tablet and then at the same time pwedeng phone, this is a good choice. So again, uh, in terms of the price, 3,990, uh, good is maganda ang American OTG, stylus, and then again, may, pwede nyo mga text and call. Uh, yung speed ng kanyang net, mamaya, I'll, I'll, I'll try yung data niya kung ilan yung masasagap niya after the, the Antutu benchmark. Uh, so far, ang pinaka nang syempre, this is a tablet, don't expect too much for the camera since both front and rear is a, uh, anong tawag dito, fixed focus ang kanilang camera. And, but then, yung front is medyo hindi ganun kaganda pero but the rear is definitely uh, usable naman yung, yung pag-capture niya. And the build is actually solid, so medyo mabigat nga lang, it's 290 grams. Uh, but then in terms of parang compared sa ibang 4,000 budget tablet, uh, this is so far I think much better in terms of qual build quality. But then the display is medyo mahina lang yung uh, brightness niya. But I think if you can download an app na pwedeng ma, 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 dito, ma update or pwedeng ma, mabago yung brightness, you can use that. So since yung parang default brightness niya is yung max brightness niya, so hindi, hindi ganun kataas. And in terms of gaming, performance is uh, really good. Uh, casual gaming, Clash of Clans is really playable, even the uh, Asphalt 8. So I'm pretty much sure na yung mga other uh, not too very intensive graphic games is playable dito. Even the Modern Combat for sure playable dito. And uh, yun, yun yung mga so far na, na, na natin na interact. And even the stylus, sabi ko nga, mag I was really surprised kung gusto nyo siyang gamitin pong simple drawing, drawing lang na budget. Uh, this is a good choice also. Yun nga lang yung speaker niya, if you're aiming for a speaker, malakas siya pero medyo matinis nga lang. Pero in terms of performance yung responsiveness ng UI, you just have to change yung transition to 0.5 para at least magkaroon pa ng konting bilis yung transition niya. Kasi medyo may kabagalan lang yung UI niya. So, you just have to adjust it sa, sa settings. Pero so far naman, manageable naman yung UI niya. Pero again, it's an entry-level tablet. Uh, hindi ganun kaswabe yung, yung transitions and smoothness ng, ng UI niya. But then, it's, it's manageable naman. Uh, yun, I was really surprised sa gaming kasi again, Intel Sophia based on experiences, usually nagka-crash yung mga app talaga sa Intel Sophia. And I was really surprised dito parang kanina nag-crash lang yung, ano, yung real racing pero uh, parang initial boot up lang yun. Pero so far naman, gumagana siya. And hindi ko na tinapos yung download kasi medyo mabagal na lang. Hindi na, hindi na sasagap yung full speed ng wifi ko but then it's it's uh, manageable. Uh, kahit na umabot naman ng 20 Mbps in case na abot kayo sa ganung speed, di ba? Uh, yun. So, ang ating M22 is 16,000 guys. 15,990. So that is 16,000. So tama si Rich CSGO. Yun. Chamba si Rich daw. <laughs> 16,000. Star Mobile Engage 7i. Uh, definitely, as I'll, I'll still recommend this if you're looking for a budget tablet. Uh, I was really, again, I was really surprised for the gaming performance. Uh, not bad for a 4,000 budget phone. Uh, for Clash of Clans, yung mga ganun, yung mga Ashfold 8. So, wala naman, hindi ako nagkaroon ng issue in terms of crushing ng apps. And, yung umpisa lang talaga, sobrang init nga lang. Temperature nga nga lang is medyo mainit. Yun lang, kung medyo, ano kayo sa temperature. So, ngayon, umakabot nga na 43. So, bumaba. Oh, bumaba na siya, guys. So, 45 na lang siya. So, initial lang talaga siya. Initial boot up na, ano lang talaga siya. Na, init. So, yun. So, at least, I think, once na nag-load na lahat ng mga apps, uh, magkakalma na siya. Kakalma na yung init niya. So, hindi na ganito yung init. Again, uh, the build is really nice, solid. So, even though, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm twisting it like that. So, yun. It's a 5 multi touch also. So, good thing. And, wala siyang issue of bug in terms of touch. So, ayan. Pero, wag siya tayo sa 40% after the whole show ng Pinoy Screencast. So, yan. Yeah. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Click the bell icon sa inyong mobile or click the subscribe or notification sa inyong desktop in case of desktop yung nanonood. So, yun. Uh, hopefully, you like the uh, episode tonight. We are now on episode 20. So, again, thank you, thank you guys for the support. Without you guys, we will not be in this episode. And once again, I'm Arnold Vino, Pinoy Screencast.net and thanks for watching. 
Once again, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button there at the bottom of this video. And if you haven't uh, shared this, be sure to share this to some friends you are interested sa top budget tablet. And again, uh, I'll add it actually some mga recommend recommended na, na tablet so far. Uh, yo. Uh, I'll still be playing around with it in the next couple of days and we'll give you an update on my social media account in terms of performance and everything. So yeah, again, thanks for watching guys and it's Tubs Tugana. See you on my next live stream. Good night guys.